how does AI, how does microscopy help in these scenarios? What exactly are you doing? Are you able to tell us? Sure. Uh, firstly, thanks for having me. And uh, what we do is we use visual, we use images. We run images through AI models and help them understand the minute differences, so minutia per se. And this could be at such a deep resolution that it's almost impossible, not impossible, but almost impossible for counterfeiters to actually beat that. Mm. Uh, and we train computers at scale to understand these differences. And then when our customers, anybody needs on-demand authentication, someone has an item in front of them and they need to know if it's real or not, we are uh, providing them the ability to take images of the item, ship it out to the cloud, AI says yes or no. If it's a yes, then we give them a certificate and a financial guarantee. So it's almost like insurance. Mm -hmm. Vidya, where's the technology come from? Have you developed this yourself or you're bringing in the software component from a third party? Uh, no, we, everything is built in-house, including the microscopy. The, even, even any other camera information that we get is all processed in-house. The data that we collect and we train computers on is also completely in-house, which makes it kind of unique and also valuable. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, when we started this, there was no one else doing it. It was also a weird thing to do. Think about it. You're, you're, you're a Bloomingdale's. Would you expect someone to walk around with a device like that? Uh, but turns out there's a lot of value because about 10 to 12 percent of all the items that we authenticate are counterfeit. And this is only with businesses. Wow. I, what's interesting, I'm looking at a handbag and can really understand how your technology would work for that. Are there items, we were just talking about watches, is that sort of mm -hmm. impossible because you've got to basically take the thing apart to be able to take the photos? Where are the limitations? Where is the scalability for you? Sure. So scalability, uh, scalability is available in almost any category where there are counterfeits because the beauty of AI is this flywheel of learning and improving constantly. Mm -hmm. Typically, when you do that long enough and at large scales enough, you are disincentivizing counterfeiters from constantly going after that space, making better quality fakes. Because at some point, their margin is at a ceiling. right? So you're always half a step ahead. So that's where the scalability and the AI piece is useful. Limitations-wise, I think you raise a very good point. When it comes to certain types of goods, there's form and there's function. right? Form is, say, a handbag or a shoe or a piece of apparel or an accessory. Uh, function would mean, does it work well, right? Mm. So for a watch, you need to do both. AI is excellent at form, might not be the most ideal solution at function, but there are other ways. So the question is, how can you put both together in a seamless way? That's what we're working on.